Hello and good evening, my friends, my subscribers on YouTube. Um, I decided to change it up a little bit there because I'm watching uh, FussyTube's new video and I follow FussyTube on, on YouTube. He's one of my favorite uh, Tubians. So there we are. Um, I said good evening because it's currently evening, but you might be watching this uh, in the morning or whatever time of day you're watching this. Anyway, um, it is your host, Donnie Spielberg, and this is not just another vlog. I'm in the dark at the moment, but I really don't care. I should care because... There we are. There we go. Better. So, um, I almost wasn't going to do a vlog uh, tonight or today. I mean, I want to do a vlog earlier, but, you know... I, um, what am I trying to say here? <sighs> I said to myself, I need to do a vlog at some point today. Today, this is Saturday. This is still Saturday. For the next 10 minutes, it is still Saturday. So, um, I just said to myself, I need to do a vlog. I need to say hello to everybody and address a few things. Well, not address a few things. I need to, I need to, I need a vacuum. I need a vacuum. But that's not part of the vlog. I'm not going to vlog myself vacuuming. That would be original, wouldn't that? Wouldn't that be fun and original? Just me set up the camera and show me vacuuming? Not really. Only if I dressed up like Mrs. Doubtfire. May Robin Williams rest in peace. Um, anyway, um, no, I had a few things I want to tell you guys. Uh, first of which, um, obviously this is the first vlog I have put up since my first really big video, which was my favorite extinct Disneyland attraction video, which I can now talk to you guys about. So yes, my favorite extinct Disneyland attraction video, which was the, Cap I was just referring to it as the Captain Nemo exhibit, but the 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea exhibit. That's my favorite extinct Disneyland attraction. I've been fascinated by the thing since I was 14 years old, since 1997. And so there we are. So now you guys have seen it. And thank you for the love. I got nothing but love on that video. I got nothing but likes. I got thumbs up. Um, yeah. I had a lot of people tell me that that was like my best, my best video yet, and ladies and gentlemen, that video, my extinct, my my favorite extinct Disneyland attraction video, that right there is exactly the kind of caliber of video that I want to put up. See, I have a little bit of a confession to make to you guys. This whole vlogging thing, this is not really what I wanted to do on my channel. I'm not, I never wanted to be a quote-unquote vlogger, per se. Okay, nothing against those who do vlog. Nothing against people like FussyTube and like um, those of you who I also follow here on YouTube, like Sean Rock and Boxes, for example. Um, yeah, I just, I never wanted to be a vlogger, okay? Um, as you know, as I've, as I've talked about in many of my videos, I simply wanted to be a storyteller. I wanted to do big videos like the, like the one that I just did, my, my Disneyland video, okay? Because there's, there's many things that I'm very passionate about and very knowledgeable, knowledgeable, knowledgeable about that I want to do videos about and talk to you guys about. So as far as just simply vlogging and just telling you what happened in my day, that's not really what I wanted to do. That's what I'm kind of doing in between my big videos because, as you know, I work full-time, so I don't have the kind of um, time to throw up my videos the way that a lot of other Tubians do, like FussyTube, for example. So he, you know, that's what he can do, which is which is awesome because I, love, I, I enjoy watching FussyTube's videos. <laughs> I enjoy watching Dosa Fusi's vlogs, and I especially love watching FusiTube's videos. One of my favorite FusiTube videos is the Uber prank. That cracks me up, hysterically. I, lo I, I enjoy his pranks. I enjoy watching prank videos on YouTube. I'm never going to personally do prank videos, okay? I'm never going to do that. No. But I enjoy watching them. I'm a sadist. I, I just, I like watching them. Anyway, beside the point. Um, so, yeah. Um... So that video, um, that Disneyland video that I put up, that right there, like I said, is the caliber of video that I intend to do on my channel. And the only reason why um, I did that, I, I shot it right there. You can see, right there. I shot it right there in front of my red curtain by my computer. 
Um, the only reason why I did not personally go to Disneyland, I could have gone to Disneyland, okay? Because my nephew works at Disneyland, and I have some friends that work at Disneyland. And um, some of you may know the name Jeff Heimbach. Jeff Heimbach? Actually, I call him Jeffafa Heimbach. That's what I call him. I call him JeffHeimbach.com. Um, that's uh, beside the point. Um, but yeah, he's a, he's he's a new he's a good friend of mine, and we're going to be collaborating soon. And um, he, you know, was one of the people telling me he was looking forward to my my video and stuff. And he offered a couple of times if I need any footage from inside of Disneyland to let him know. But the fact is, considering the subject matter. Considering the subject matter that I'm dealing with an attraction that does not exist anymore, I kind of thought it worked better. My wife and I talked about this on the day of our anniversary, on April 16th, which was our anniversary. We were at Disneyland, and I was actually going to get some footage of Star Tours to use in my video, but I said to myself, you know what, I think the video is going to work better if I don't feature any footage if, if I don't film any footage from inside the park in Disneyland. So basically, what I, what I did was, you know, I reached out to the people who owned those pictures, and I told them what I was doing, and they were all for it. They helped me out tremendously, and I am grateful to them. And um, so I treated the pictures that they gave me as film footage, if that makes any sense. So I panned and did all my stuff there. So, I also, in the making of that video, learned how to use my editing software. So now my next video that I do should probably not take me as much time to do as my Disneyland video. And, um, you know, it's just going to work out better for me because now I know exactly what I'm doing and stuff. So, so there we are. It's all good things. So anyway, thank you guys very, very much for the support, for the love that you did on my Disneyland video, my Captain Nemo video, because um, the one thing I did not mention in that video was why the exhibit meant so much to me. Well, the reason why that exhibit meant so much to me is because um, this movie, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, is one of my favorite movies. Uh, I don't know that it's in my top 10. I don't think it's in my top 10, probably my top 15, but this is one of my favorite movies. Um, it's just it's just such a, one of those movies that just fuels your imagination, you know? It's like, let's go on an adventure, let's go underwater and go on adventures underwater and stuff. And I mean, come on, Captain Nemo is freaking awesome, is he not, right? Okay, so, there we are. So that video's done. Um, so, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna sit down. Yeah, actually, I was gonna tell you guys about my day a little bit. Um, actually, I can't sit there. There's something on that chair. Um, what do you call it? Uh, ow! I can't stand still for long, for... I can't stand up for, like, more than five minutes because I have scoliosis and, um... It just, it hurts me to stand still. Walking is not a problem. Running is not a problem. And I, I, you know, I go on hikes occasionally with friends. That's not a problem. But standing still, if I stand still for like five minutes or more because of my, my crooked spine, then it just, it starts, it's, it gets really painful. So, um, so there we are. Um, I'm, I'm not complaining. I mean, some people out there have such, such worse problems than that. So, hey, I'll take, I'll take a crooked spine. In fact, that's what I, I think I mentioned that before. Um, I'm currently, I'm 5 foot 11. If my spine was straight, my spine is like an S. So if my spine was straight, I would be 6 foot 2. So there we are. Uh, moving on. Um, so yeah, this evening I actually went to a uh, little uh, shindig uh, for, what do you call it? Um, it was like a, basically a poetry shindig because I... I write some poetry. Uh, it's a way of dealing with uh, the pain that I've experienced in my life. So, uh, for example, I wrote a poem about Robin Williams because Robin Williams' death tore me apart. No other way to say it. Um, so I write poems uh, to deal with the pain in my life, you know, a way to express it and stuff. And the screenplays that I write are basically 
um, kind of the way, like what Tom Hanks was saying in Saving Mr. Banks, um, as, a, as a storyteller, I write screenplays to kind of write a happier ending to my pain, if that makes any sense. So, so there's that. Um, where else was I going? Uh, so for my next big video, because I want to give you guys more of those big videos, I have several subjects in mind, and of course, a trip to Hollywood is long overdue. Um, a trip to Hollywood is very, very much in store, and it's, it's just, I am long overdue to get up there. The problem is I have to have the time, and I have to have the gas to get up there. So, um, there we are. And to cover the kind of ground I want to cover, um, again, this is, I basically just want to tell you guys my plan so that you guys know where I'm at and stuff. Let's just, you know, let me be honest with you guys, okay? Um, I'm not, you know, everything I've ever told you guys is always the 150% truth. You know, I don't, I don't lie. So I'm always straight up with you guys. Um, what I think would be the easiest and just the most uh, practical and efficient thing is for me to, like I said before, like take a day, either take a day off during the week, like take a Tuesday off and just go up to Hollywood and basically either take a day off during the week or go up on like a Saturday or something. And the point is, I'm not just going to just go to Griffith Park and do a vlog there or just go to Hollywood Boulevard and do a vlog there at the Walk of Fame and show you the footprints in front of Grumman's Chinese Theater. No. What I think would be the most efficient thing to do is for me to cover the most ground that I possibly can. So I give you guys the most content and it can just be the best that, it, that I can possibly give you guys. So what I'll probably do is map out all my Hollywood stuff and heck even probably a little bit of Culver City too because I was in Culver City last Sunday to shoot my introduction and by the way, um, yeah I meant to talk to you guys about my introduction. Um, everything in my introduction uh, means something. I don't know if, um, you know what, I'm going to just do this. Um, yeah, so while I'm pulling this up, I'm actually going to tell you guys what my introduction meant, just in case anyone's curious, I don't know. Um, heck it, why not, right? Um, okay, so, uh, so I think the most practical thing for me to do as far as my vlogs go, my Hollywood vlogs, is to, um, you know, map out all the stuff in Hollywood that I want to do, at least like five or six places, and then just shoot a bunch of footage at all these different places. And then, and basically what I'm saying, where I'm going with this, is in one day, I can get you guys probably four or five vlogs. Four or five, I should say, big videos, not vlogs, big videos. So that's kind of what I have in mind, just to make the best use of my time. And that doesn't mean I'm going to cheapen the quality of the videos by any means. Um, and some of these places are places that uh, I'm a little apprehensive to go and film, but I'm just going to do my best because I think it's cool and I want to show it to you guys. That's what it all comes down to. So that being the case, um, I just want to show you, I want to show you this. This this is what we call Vlogception. This is what we call Vlogception. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready for this? Um... Oh, the Jurassic Park thing. Ah, uh, Disneyland. The he looks familiar. Place on Earth. Okay. So my favorite ride at Disneyland is Space Mountain. It's fading. But this video is Bear about with about me. My Bear with me. There's a method of my madness. Video. Okay. This video is about my favorite extinct attraction at Disneyland. Let's do this. Okay. Here we go. All right, so this is the first image in my new introduction. I shot this last Sunday when I went up to Culver City. There you can see that. Okay, now this means something. Obviously, you recognize that's E.T. This is E.T., right? That's a given. Well, I don't know if you guys can see this too well because I was trying to get the angle right and, you know, whatever. Um, this building right here, can you read that? That right there, can you read that? Can you read that? This building right here, this is the Culver Studios, okay? This is the Culver Studios. So what that means is that is the studio where E.T. was filmed. Not only E.T., but another one of my all-time favorite movies, 
Um, pictures worth a thousand words. Gone with the Wind. Gone with the Wind was filmed there. In fact, um, remember the scene in Gone with the Wind? It's a very, very brief little scene when um, Scarlet and Rhett are first married and they move into that mansion. And you see, I forget the, the names of the characters, but you see them standing in front of the gate at the mansion. I'm standing in the spot where they're standing in the movie. So it's, there's actually right here on the ground, right there on the ground, right there, there's a little plaque on the ground marking that spot as a historic location. So, the Cover Studios, it's one of those studios that they, unfortunately, they don't offer tours, but, sorry, the, that, there we go, they don't offer tours, but it's worth it just to stand in front of that building and just feel all the history there and stuff. Just, it's, it makes for a great picture. It makes for a great picture. Okay, moving on. Now, okay, right, that, right there. Okay, now this right here, what, what is, <laughs> this actually does, there is a method to this madness, okay? Now what happened is, that statue of that lion or tiger, I don't know if that's a lion or, t gosh, I'm so sorry about this, this wobbliness there. That lion, whatever that is, um, that's literally about, um, I would say 50 feet from the Cover Studios. And the reason this is in my introduction video, why is this just, this does not want to stay there. There we go. The reason that's in there is because when Adam the Woo and I first did our vlog over at the Cover Studios the end of last year, um, I found that lion or tiger, whatever it is, lion I guess, and I took that picture staying in front of it, just, just wholly for fun, and I put it up on Facebook. Well, when I put that picture up on Facebook, that stupid picture of me imitating the tiger got about 80 likes. 80 of my friends liked that stupid picture. And it's just me in front of a, just, it's nothing. So I said to myself, if that many of my friends liked it on Facebook, then maybe it'll be popular on my YouTube channel. And voila, there it is. Now, lastly, lastly, that right there, that right there, that is me, yours truly, on the stage from Back to the Future where Marty McFly performed Johnny Be Good. There we are. So that's, that's, the, um, that's the method to my madness, that's the logic behind my introduction. Um, so yeah, I have many, many, many ideas for my big videos and I've rambled on long enough so I'm gonna wrap this up now. And as we are now on Sunday, it's now 12.07, which means I'm going to be getting a little bit of a snack and hitting the hay because I have a big day tomorrow. Um, anyway, so I have a lot of ideas for my next big video. Um, I've already told you about one of them, the Hotel Del Coronado. Um, and like I said, just, I have many big ideas. It's a matter of just choosing which one I want to execute first. So I won't let you guys down. I'm going to continue to bring you guys um, as best content as I possibly can. And I just, again, I thank you very much for being patient with me. I thank you for hitting the subscribe button. I thank you for the likes. I thank you for the comments. You guys have really, really opened up to me. And, um, you know, occasionally, occasionally, I'm going to get really deep with you guys because I'm a very, very deep individual. I'm very complex, multi-layered. That being said, I love all of you. And here he is for his cameo. Come here, Fatimus. Fat, come here. Here's Fat Todd. Now, it hits the like button on this video. It does it whenever it's told. It shares this video with its friends and family. It does this whenever it's told. Or else it gets the hose again. It hits the subscribe button. It does this whenever it's told. And it'll leave some comments. Or it gets the hose, won't it, Fat? Yes, it'll get the hose. I am Donnie Spielberg. I love all you guys. I love all of you. Thank you for everything, and I will see you guys soon, okay? Bye-bye.